Hello everybody, thanks for watching. It's Alex here from WPEagle.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a scrolling news ticker to your WordPress website. Um, I'm gonna be using a premium plugin and that plugin is called J News Ticker for WordPress and it's available on Code Canyon. it's just $12. It's really flexible, it allows you to display scrolling messages from your Twitter, from your Facebook, your latest blog posts, or you can just type in some messages straight into the back end and have them scroll. Uh, when I say scroll, there's some other options as well. You can have it fade or reveal as well. So without much more chit chat, let's get on with it. So here's the page on Code Canyon. I will post a link to this page um, at the bottom of this video. It's where you can download it for, let's say, $12. Um, and what I'm gonna be doing today is gonna be adding the news ticker to um, the WP Eagle test site. Here it is, and what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna uh, pick a page, uh, this page A will do, and I wanna add a, a, um, a ticker at the top of this page here. So I've installed the plugin, I downloaded it and installed it from Code Canyon. And once you've installed it, you get uh, these options screens um, here. You'll find it down in settings and JW News Ticker. Um, in here you can select your skin, there's a choice of different ones, um, it's just on dark at the moment, which is fine. And if you want to use your Twitter to kind of uh, have your tweets scrolling past, um, you need to enter your details here. And you can get those details by going to twitter.com apps, clicking this link here, and logging in. Uh, I'm not going to do Twitter. I'm just going to do a free form one where I'm going to type in a couple of messages uh, straight into the options. So let's create a new uh, news sticker. And I'm just going to call it News. And the title can be News. And the animation we're going to go for is scroll. As I say, there's a number of different choices. And there's some more options here in terms of whether you want to display controls or start the animation automatically, how you want the stuff sorted. I'm just going to leave all these on the default. Now, down towards the bottom is where you select um, where the messages come from. As I said, I'm going to use just a free form, so I'm going to tick that box and put that one as first news item. And then you can set your date. And let's save that. Okay, so we've um, we've saved that and we're back here. Now, all we need to do is get the short code for the ticker. Um, to do that, you just go back into where you were and then if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see um, it's right there. And you just need to copy that into your clipboard. I'm gonna just right click and go copy. In fact, while I'm here, I'm gonna add another news item just, uh, just for the hell of it, just so that you get the full effect. Same date and time, there we go. So this is the page that I wanna add that ticker to. So I'm just gonna go and click edit page as you do. And I've got the, uh, the short code in my clipboard right now and I'm gonna paste that in. Um, simply news ticker ID equals naught. Obviously that would go up if there was other tickers. You could uh, have many, many tickers. Uh, and then I'm just gonna click update. And then hopefully when I go and view the page, our lovely ticker will be there. There it is, wow. Okay, I hope you found that useful. If you want more WordPress videos, please visit wpeagle.com and I will see you guys soon. See you later. <laughs>